got you guys ready back there? Yeah. I'm not. All right, they're ready. You guys ready? Hang on. We got four out of five. Let's go. Hang on now. I'd like to call the meeting of the Maryville Redevelopment Commission to order for Tuesday, Mar uh, February 23rd at 5.30 p.m. Mr. Secretary, roll call. Uh, Mr. White, not here. Mr. Hardaway? Yep. Ms. Uslak? Yes. Here. I am here, Mr. Pettit. I'm here. Four members, we have a quorum. Uh, consent agenda, we have the accounts payable register voucher approval for February 23rd, 2021 and approval of the mini meeting minutes for February 9th, 2021. What's your pleasure, ladies so and gentlemen? Moved. Second. Motion by Mrs. Uzalak, seconded by Mr. Minchuk to approve the consent agenda as presented. Is there any further discussion? All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Is there any old business, Mr. Reardon? No, sir. Did I catch you off guard, Pat? Did I catch you off guard? There's no new. <laughs> There's no old business, Pat. I could tell on the agenda. All right, new business. We have a financial report from Core Construction, Mr. Reardon or Mr. King. I don't know which. I'm gonna drag you into this, Steve. Yeah, make him work. <laughs> make him talk. Can you defer? <laughs> Patrick, what are we looking at? We got a spreadsheet in front of us. They sent us a colored spreadsheet. I have it. This is something that, that staff has put together. Uh, we work in tandem with CORE, and then uh, we double check our math with the trustee. So, oh, Pam. Pam Cole. Yeah. And this is a, this is a running total through the last uh, payment application, which I believe was payment application. 14. 14. Okay. So it, it shows um, which accounts have been uh, debited and, and the balance in each of those accounts. Okay. Does anybody have any questions for Patrick? Have you gone all over them, Patrick? Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah, there's about, there's about four, four or five sets of eyes. That what? There are four or five sets of eyes that that oh, go okay. into this document. Now do you look all right with me? If it's okay with everybody, I'll make a motion to approve. Do we need that, Pat, or is that just for our well, information? For, that's for that's you. Just for our oh, okay, information. we didn't need for you, you would ask yeah. for an update. Okay. Yeah, we did. Meeting. Okay, let's keep moving on since we got several of these, it looks like, and uh, Pat had emailed me earlier, as did Bob Swentz, that there were gonna be several of these items uh, on the agenda. Um, as everyone realizes, we're doing a general obligation bond uh, for the paving, um, for this year's paving. We're also doing a refinance um, of the uh, Mississippi Street TIF district um, for a better rate. Um, and so there are several engagement letters between, looks like we've got three from Barnes. I'm going to run through them, Pat, so we don't. Uh, we've got three from Barnes and Thornburg for the Mississippi Street refunding bonds. We've got the bond council for the uh, Liberty Estates project, which we heard about from Randy Hall and Matt Reardon. Uh, I believe it was a month ago, Pat, yes, roughly. Yes, correct. Uh, that's in Mr. Bella's area, uh, south of Schaepel, uh, around Whitcomb, uh, there on the south side of 30. Right. And then there's another one um, for uh, Project Eagle, uh, which is uh, encompasses the field house uh, building, uh, and there's going to be some things that Pat's going to be bringing to us, I think, shortly um, with regard to uh, project labor agreement that they're working on with the unions, as well as a development uh, agreement. Um, let the record show that Mr. White uh, is now in attendance. Thank you. So I'm going to work backwards uh, on the three from Barnes and Thornburg. Does anybody have any questions? Uh, Joe, I don't know if you've taken a look at these, if Pat's gotten these to you. I mean, they, they're in accordance with uh, with bond council in their engagement, so I, I don't have any questions at this time or any concerns. Okay. Um, again, it's a very specialized line of work, Sean. Yep. Councilman Pettit. So at the end of the day, um, you have to pay for that specialized. Right. Right. Um, 
So we have three for Barnes and Thornburg. We have two for London Witty. Um, the one is uh, for London Witty is uh, again for Project Eagle. So that, that goes hand in hand with the Barnes and Thornburg one. Um, the other one is uh, regarding tr land transaction with Epic United Volleyball Club, the, the project that we talked about uh, and we're going to start acting on uh, later on in the agenda. And then the other one, Pat, is with, um, we have Regions, Regions Bank serving as paying agent. Um, which one is that one for? It is for the refinancing bonds. The refinancing bonds of Mississippi Cinderella Street. Bond. Yes. Why is it called a Cinderella bond, if that's, I may ask? That's a good question. I'm really curious on that Cinderella bond name. I don't know. Oh, somebody okay. has Okay, why is it? Oh, I'm the banker of Piper Sandler, excuse me. Oh, right. come on up. It takes me a second to stand up. I met him when I came in yeah, and we had a little discussion. Come up. Come on up and I okay. just state yeah. your name for Go us ahead. if you can. At the podium, sir. Excuse me, Carl, right I can feel your pain. I've had sciatica all weekend, my friend. Oh, no, it's you no better fun. Go get a shot. No, I just take ibuprofen. <laughs> Good evening. I'm David Wimmer with Piper Sandler. I'm part of the team that you're talking about. Uh -huh. I'm the, uh, at the time, the Cinderella bond issue was discussed. I was proposing to be the placement agent. And in my recent conversations with Tom Pittman and Bob Swintz, with rates being so low in the taxable world, I'm now proposing to be your underwriter. It was proposed as a Cinderella issue when we first presented this idea to Bob and Tom back in January, the Cinderella issue is because it, we can't current or advance refund a bond issue, we do a Cinderella issue where we refund on a taxable basis to the first call date, which I believe is a couple years out, and then at that time it advance refunds is to a tax exempt rate. What's being proposed tonight is rates have come so low that we don't have to do the most complicated refinance. We're doing a less complicated which generates more savings, and the savings has gone up by almost $100,000 from when I originally showed the numbers a month ago yep. to the financial advisor and Biden Council. So we're just doing a straight taxable current refunding, uh, or advanced refunding, and we're not doing the Cinderella financing anymore. So in essence, they, what, savings. what we'll have is we'll end up having more money in the, TIF, in the Mississippi Street TIF district for projects, correct? Yes. Our debt service and our interest payment will be lower. Yes, and just to give you an approximation, you're currently, if you did nothing, you're going to be paying a 3.25% interest rate going out to 4%. And if it were done last week when I gave the interest rates, you're now going to be looking at a 0.75% interest rate going out to less than 2 Wow. And it's, it's like refinancing your home. You do it to, to you know, save debt service. And I was going to ask, do you have my contract as well as part of the stuff being... I had given that to Tom. Okay, you, you have it. Yes, yep. here. All right. I didn't hear you mention that, so I wanted to make sure if you didn't have it, I have it. Okay, because these percentage rates are lower, interest rates, whatever, that's why it's called Cinderella? No, Cinderella was if we were going to do a refinance first on a taxable basis up to the call date and then tax exempt thereafter. That was one option on how to do a refinance. Uh, but in updating using current taxable rates, it makes more sense just to do a taxable financing because it generates almost $100,000. So if the clock strikes midnight, Dave, that's why they call it a Cinderella, Margie. Is that it? On the call, I don't know. Oh, <laughs> I was wondering I'm about I'm reaching back. It's been a while since I watched Cinderella with my daughter. Is this the way it's It hasn't changed. Okay, is that a popular <laughs> story line, Pat? financial agent, Cinderella? Uh, this is the first uh, I, time I ever heard it. I have it. no idea where the Cinderella name originated from. Okay, I was very curious on the so, name. Okay. I don't, the good thing is, is we're saving money in the Mississippi Street yeah, tip. I thought a carriage pulled up holding so. the box. <laughs> Struck at midnight. So. All right. Um, Mr. Yeah. Svetnoff, we need to, do we need uh, a, a formal approval on these engagement letters, each I, one? I go through them separately. Okay. Just do, uh, you know, a, a very brief motion on each, but have them. Can we do a voice approved. vote? Yeah, you can do a voice All vote. All right. Uh, the first item is the engagement letter from Piper. Uh, one Sandler for underwriting services regarding taxable tax increment revenue refunding bond series 2021 the securities fees are $5.50 per bond 
Is there any further discussion for Pat, Dave, or Joe? No. Seeing none, Chair will entertain a motion. Motion. So, second. Motion by Mr. White, seconded by Mrs. Uzelak to approve the engagement letter. Uh, and again, these would be authorizing me as president to sign these engagement letters um, between the Town of Maryville Redevelopment Commission and Piper One Sandler for underwriting services. Any further discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Next item is the engagement letter from Regions Bank Servicing as paying agent, registrar, transfer agent, and escrow agent regarding taxable tax increment revenue refunding bonds, series 2021. Fees are acceptance fee of $350. Annual administration fees are $750. Escrow agent fee is $700. And activity fees, redemption fees, per optional bond call processed billable at costs and security buys or sells are $75 per trade. Whew. I'm not going to ask for questions on that. Why not? <laughs> are Why there not? any questions? <laughs> Uh, Chair will entertain a motion on the engagement letter for Regions Bank. So moved. Second. Motion by Mrs. Uzelak, seconded by Mr. White to approve the engagement letter from Regions Bank uh, serving as paying agent. Any further discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Uh, the next one is the engagement letter from London Witty CPA and Advisors for Advisory Services regarding land transaction with Epic United Volleyball Club fees are based on hourly billing of actual time expended by staff ranging from $50 administration to $390 for partners. So moved. Motion by Mrs. Uzelak. Second. Second by Mr. Hardaway. Any further discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Uh, engagement letter from London Witty CPA and Advisors for Advisory Services for Project Eagle. Fees are based on hourly billing of actual time expended by staff ranging from $50 administration to $390 for partners. So motion. motion by Mr. Hardaway, seconded by Mrs. Uzelak to approve the engagement letter with London Witty. Is there any further discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Engagement letter from Barnes and Thornburg LLP to serve as bond counsel regarding the 2021 Mississippi Street refunding bonds. Fees are at a fixed fee in the amount of $45,750. So Motion by Mr. Hardaway. Second. Second by Mr. Minchuk to approve the engagement letter from Barnes and Thornburg. Is there any further discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Engagement letter from Barnes and Thornburg LLP to serve as bond counsel regarding economic development revenue bonds issued to provide incentive for Liberty Estates project. Fees are hours actually worked by each lawyer and legal assistant. Billing rates vary in accordance with the experience and seniority. So moved. Second. Second. Motion by Mrs. Uzelak, seconded by Mr. Hardaway to approve the engagement letter with Barnes and Thornburg LLP. Is there any further discussion? Question. What's that? Question. Questions. I'm sorry, Mr. Yes. White. Yeah. yeah, I was just wondering, actually, uh, I guess I don't know, for Liberty Estates. Liberty Estates is the development we heard about a month ago with Randy Hall and Pat Reardon. It's actually in Mr. Bellows Ward, south of the Scapel, uh, east of Whitcomb. It okay. takes in that area okay. uh, down through there. Okay. We discussed it at the Planning Commission, too, Leonard. Okay, thank it's you. A, it's a mixed use development. Mixed use development. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, thank you. All right, uh, seeing no further questions, all those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Last engagement letter. Engagement letter from Barnes & Thornburg LLP to serve as bond counsel regarding issuance of economic development revenue bonds issue to provide incentives for Project Eagle. Fees are at a fixed amount of $30,750. Motion. Second. Motion by Mr. White, seconded by Mrs. Uzelak to approve the engagement letter from Barnes & Thornburg LLP. Is there any further discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Uh, resolutions. Uh, let me get through all these here. London Witty. Uh, do -do -do -do. What did we do with all of our resolutions, Patrick? I have. They're in our big packet. First resolution is uh, resolution 2109 is a uh, 
Final bond resolution of the Town of Maryville Redevelopment Commission authorizing the issuance of the Town of Maryville Redevelopment District taxable tax increment refunding revenue bonds for the purpose of refunding certain outstanding bonds. So moved. Second. Okay, and this is... I'm sorry. That this is second. for the Mississippi Street area, right, Pat? Uh, the first yeah. resolution? I'm sorry, Mrs. Uzelak and then Mr. Minchuk. Minchuk. Thank you. All right. Is there any discussion or questions on this resolution? Yeah, do we have a hearing on this resolution 2109 at one of our previous meetings? It seems to me we had discussed this before somewhere. No, I think, um, and I don't know, between Pat and, and Dave and, and, and Joe, uh, this starts with us. Yes. And then I think they'll probably, if I'm not mistaken, uh, Pat, there'll be a resolution at the Planning Commission, Council, and back to the RDC on this issue, correct? Yes. Okay. So it's usually... got to follow through. Right. This is the first step of, of okay. many. Is that, I mean, is that an accurate, Joe? No, that, that's totally accurate. All right. Oh, good. Okay. Uh, that being said, is there any further discussion on Resolution 2109? <laughs> Seeing none, uh, Mr. Secretary, on a resolution, let's take a roll call vote. Mr. White. Yes. Mr. Hardaway? Yeah. Ms. Hughes-like? Yes. I am a yes. Mr. Pettit? Yes. Motion carries 5-0. Uh, next item is resolution 21-10, a resolution of the Town of Maryville Redevelopment Commission approving certain amendments to the respective declaratory resolution and economic development plan for each of the town's existing Maryville Road Economic Development Area, Century Plaza Broadway Economic Development Area, Mississippi Street Economic Development Area, and Interstate 65 State Road 30 Economic Development Area, consolidating such economic development areas and the economic development plans related thereto, adding certain projects to the consolidated economic development plan and related matters. Again, um, defer to Mr. Svetnoff and Mr. Reardon, but I believe this is the first resolution that would start the process where we will help the Boys and Girls Club uh, enter into a multi-purpose lease with Epic United, where we're already giving money to the Maribel School Corporation. This will start the process that would enable us to give uh, similar consideration to the Boys and Girls Club. Is that correct, Pat? Yes. Okay. Okay, are we talking about the Mississippi TIF area? Well, we're, we're taking money. We have to identify all of them, Margie, because okay. when, when the grant comes through from Maryville Community School Corporation. Bruce and now Pat used to take a little bit from each of the TIF districts, and we give that we gave that grant money to the school corporation for three hundred twenty-five thousand. So we have to identify all the TIFs. We're going to be doing the same thing when we give the allocation to the Boys and Girls Club for their rent at the Epic Building. We'll take a little bit. Pat will divvy it up. Um, I don't know how he'll do it: twenty percent or twenty-five percent from each one. However, it works out. But that's that. This will start this again. We will see, you and I and Jeff will see a resolution at the Planning Commission now. Okay. And then there'll be a Town Council resolution and then back to us here okay. to finalize the same same steps. I got it. Okay. Thank you. So yep. moved. Second. Motion by Mrs. Uzelak, seconded by Mr. Hardaway to approve resolution 21-10. Is there any further discussion? Seeing none, Mr. Secretary, roll call. Mr. White. Yes. Mr. Hardaway. Yeah. Mr. Uzelak. Yes. I am a yes, Mr. Pettit. Yes. Motion carries. Uh, are there any general orders, Pat? I noticed that we had, uh, and I don't know if that was for just information purposes, we had a, a TIF map in our packets. Correct. That's, that's, a, that's a companion, a piece to Resolution 2110. Okay. All right. Very good. Um, the other... Uh, item, I thought I turned my phone down. The other item I have, which kind of is not old business, but it's going to come to us. Pat, can you give us, uh, in somewhat discretion, an update on Project Eagle and the field house with the uh, the buyer and the purchase agreement that I signed as president? Yes, thank you. Um, Project Eagle is advancing. Uh, we had a uh, conference call. Uh, we uh, that would include. Um, Attorney Svetnoff, uh, Bob Swens from London Witty, and Tom Pittman from Th Barnes and Thornburg. 
We have a draft development agreement. I'm in the process of completing it as much as I can. I have a conference call with the intended buyer tomorrow. Um, it's, it's our hope that uh, we're through this process. Um, by mid-April, when I spoke with Mr. Pittman earlier, and, and we'll provide the commission and, and then with that the council, uh, a project schedule, um, it's our hope that we can expedite that perhaps in, instead of 45 days, 30 days, it might be so we can close and, and get the, the buyer in the property. Um, we may come back to the commission and ask for a special meeting. The process will involve at least one meeting of the Economic Development Commission. Um, I, I can tell you that the uh, intended buyer user has, has done everything we've asked for them, of them, and there'll be exhibits that, that speak to tax impact, exhibits that, that show the financing, the cost for real property, land, personal property, and uh, I, I'm, I'm confident that at our next meeting we'll present information to the commission. Okay. Any questions for Pat? I, I, have, I have a question, actually, on, on the TIF district maps. I'm looking at um, 47, Winfield, 109, and Randolph. Is that, is that a new TIF district? No, that's a, I think that's off the map that they used, Leonard. Okay. Because this isn't a TIF. This green area isn't a TIF either. I don't know what the green is. What's the green say? Yeah. The green is. I don't Broadway, know. Broadway expansion, that type of green. Yeah, I don't know. You may want to check with Pat or Matt. Who makes the who made the map? A actually, we we got this from uh, Mr. Swens. Um, I'm in the process of working with Matt as we consolidate TIF areas and provide uh, the commission and council with new TIF maps. Okay. And then from there, they would be on our website. Okay. So so. The 47th Winfield and 109th and Randolph Street, is that a TIF district? No, it's no. not. It's not. Okay, you just got it in the legend. Yeah. Correct. Okay, thank you. Thank yep. you. Uh, well, that's in our paving list, though, Randolph Street. Yeah. Or the street, mm -hmm. Maryville paving list. Yep. You have Randolph Street. Community focus, yeah. In Ward 5, correct? Yep. Okay. That it, will be done this spring, I believe? I, I Okay, Steve. You're on. You're on, Steve. Thank you, Steve. The advertisement for bids for the Randolph Street and the 57th Avenue. The advertisement went out Monday. Okay. We'll open bids on the 15th of March, and hopefully award at the council meeting on the 23rd, I believe. Okay. That's kind of the dates set forth for that. Okay. Very good. Thank you. All right. Any other? comments or questions for Pat or Steve or Joe? Got one thing, I don't have my gavel. Rick took my gavel away. I got one, question. <laughs> one question for you, Sean. Did you hear anything from uh, Ryan's filing today? No, I did not. No, I talked to Matt Galeros <laughs> on Galer Meyer Galeros sponsorship. Rick and I were working on the signs and Joe's got the naming rights because they're, they're naming the, the rock wall but he didn't say anything after you and I left the Zoom call. Just for the benefit of the other commission members, Rich and I were on a, a Zoom call with the Boys and Girls Executive Club and kind of laid out what we have to do according to Tom Pittman's time schedule and, and what's going to take place. Um, and they all seem to be on board. They want to tour the Dean and Barbara White Community Center at some point here in the near future. Um, I know that um, Joe took a, a very prominent individual uh, on a tour yesterday who is now in charge of the White Family Foundation. And uh, Mr. Bill Hanna was, uh, what was his word, Joe? He was blown away. Blown away. Wow. So they're, uh, You're doing okay. they're seeing what we're doing. Uh, again, with Pat and, and Steve, their, their funding chart, uh, spending the money wisely, keeping an eye on the dollars. Um, we've gotten you know, the sponsorships in. Um, we, Pat was able to secure two more sponsorships last night, which is 
the pre-function area, the, that cocktail that's got all the windows on it before you get into the event center. Yeah. That's going to be sponsored by Robinson Engineering. Uh, and he also got what's formerly known, for, Walsh and Kelly is now known as Milestone. They're going to sponsor the golf simulator. Um, and it appears that Rick and I have been working on artwork with Holiday Properties, and it appears that they're going to be sponsoring the elevated walking path, and we're, we're waiting to finalize that. So really, uh, from sponsorship standpoint, we only have um, the one room, because I, I, I would be remiss, Joe was able to get the AFL CIO to sponsor the teen room, where all, Jan's going to have all the Xboxes and everything, and then that other small room is up for sponsorship, and the outside concession stand. And I know, Jeff, you've been talking to some people working on that one. They're getting ready. they got a shovel out there, man, in the back <laughs> off the patio. Mm -hmm. I, we had to pull Steve off of it because he was starting to dig back there. So what did the AFL CIO give to sponsor that room? $5,000 for five okay. years. Okay, very good. Yep. For five years. Mm -hmm. All right. Yep. So. I'm sorry I couldn't make your last meeting. I That's wanted to be Joe. There. Joe... Pulled that rabbit out of his hat yesterday. Thank you, Mr. Svetnoff. Oh, who can talk it's to that we have such a good working relationship with the unions at that. Yeah, oh. actually, Randy Palmatier is the one we should thank, along with Joe. All right, any other questions or comments for the good of the order? Yeah, I know you've got a budget and finance meeting. Where are we at with the uh, brick application? We really haven't uh, tackled that yet. Um, Okay. We've got some designs. Rick, we've been working, and Jan's been working on some designs. Okay. Um, but uh, I don't know that we've got an, an actual application drawn up where people can we okay. get an application from Jan or Lisa or Ruth and fill it out and give us their, you know, it's $100 right. to buy the brick. Uh, or the, the it's really going to be, I think, uh, Rick, it's going to be the sticker, right? Yeah, that will go on that uh, yeah. that far east up against the Bozak court. Um, I know we, we haven't decided on a design yet because we're waiting for a couple more samples to choose from. So okay. yep. once we get it done, we'll let you know. Motion yep. to adjourn. Second. We are adjourned. Floor is yours, Mr. Hardaway. Okay, Trish. The, the purpose they, of this... Uh, Sean, are they going to sell bricks? With people's names on them, or something? Uh, it's stickers. Yeah. Oh, stickers! Well, when do they start? Yeah, yeah. that's good. We'll, the, the purpose as we get of the, this the, meeting the is to. Uh, we'll, start selling. well, what about the council? They're going to be involved with. Just oh yeah. Okay. Yeah.